Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for October 17th to the 23rd. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Pisces, I've got the nine card block here, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Pisces, what I am noticing straight off the back here is the numerology here, 88844. Okay, so it's a lot of repetition there. And, you know, of course, eight is that number of abundance, of mastery, of power. Four for me is about, you know, setting that foundation up, you know, moving into a place of stability and security in your life. And, you know, we do have, you know, quite a lot of pentacles energy here. So I feel like this is something to do with, um, work, career, finance, physical home, trying to really get grounded in that way, trying to transform things in that way. So the first oracle out here, Pisces, is success and transformation. So I do feel like you're trying to transform that part of your life, to increase your abundance, to be more on purpose when it comes to the kind of work that you're doing so that the financial aspect really does just flow for you. Um, the next card out is fill your card with sacred giggles. Okay, well, look, this is a real reminder that when we are in our joy, when we're in our happy state, we are a lot more magnetic for new opportunities and for abundance, okay, because abundance is attracted to a high vibrational energy. And that is the way that we can magnetize high vibrational opportunities towards ourselves so um, it could be also that you're trying to recover your joy in some way after a stressful period as well maybe around work career finance uh, at least we know that the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so it feels like things are coming to some kind of climax here for you. Um, at the moment, four of swords, four of pentacles, there could be a waiting period. There could be a pause here where you're trying to figure out your next move. You may also be waiting to hear back from, um, you know, uh, something you might have applied for here. I'm just sensing the, you know, the energy here with the page of wands and the ace of pentacles, you might be uh, waiting to hear back from a job you've applied for, finance you've applied for, even a home to purchase or rent with all the pentacles energy. And it could be that once that falls into place, then you can make your moves here. Um, sometimes with the four of swords, you know, we're waiting for 
that clarity to come and the insight as well. Um, you know, and, and you're on a bit of a pause at the moment, okay? You're on a bit of a waiting period and it might be Four of Pentacles that you're having to hold tight for a moment until you get this answer. And again, we see, you know, the Four of Pentacles, this can be around because there is a lack of, uh, um, you know, abundance flow at the moment or, you know, you're having to kind of really bunker down until you get that answer. Um, with the Eight of Cups here, it feels like you are wanting to move away from a situation that I think has become, you know, uh, quite uh, conflicting for you. I mean, Five of Swords at the heart of the reading, this can be a situation that has become quite abrasive, whether it's in work career or whether it's in your relationship. You know, with the Five of Swords, generally there are no real winners um, or you can, you know, get the upper hand, but it comes at a great cost for you. So, the advice from spirit is to consider moving away from this because if you're honest with yourself, Pisces, you know, that success and that satisfaction and that happiness isn't here, okay? There's a piece missing. You can't really complete the picture here. So your intuition is telling you that as well. I think that voice is getting louder and louder for you. And now you're getting ready to make moves. But with the aid of swords here, um, and tuning back into the lead energies, it feels like your hands are tied right now until you hear back or set up an opportunity for you to move on to because maybe you're not in the position to just up and leave, okay? With the Eight of Swords, we need to be mindful that it's not just mental overwhelm or we're not just um, feeling trapped because of our own limitations. There is a path out of this, but it feels like you might need to get creative to take a different viewpoint here. And also just make sure you are really tuning into, you know, what's coming through intuitively for you as well. Three of Pentacles here for me, um, you know, really indicates that we are working in the area of, um, you know, work, career, study, finance, maybe physical home or building. It is all of those things. This is also an energy of put a plan in place. With a plan in place, you know, it feels like the success and the energy can gain momentum quicker um, than, you know, obviously if we're just uh, hoping for things to kind of work their, their, their selves out. So if you have not already begun seeking that very peace that you need to move on from this, then you should because the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Wands really is good news coming in about some kind of new beginning here, some kind of new offer that feels divinely gifted in just the right time for you, Pisces. So this kind of thing here could be finding out that you've been accepted for that rental home or that property to, to buy, that you've been successful for that new contract, that new employment offer, that bank loan. Um, it's all of that kind of new stability coming in for you that's going to allow you to move ahead and move away from a situation that I feel has gone bad for you or you might be caught up in some kind of conflict, some kind of dispute. So the Page of Wands is associated with a message of good news that helps you move towards new potential, new growth and new manifestation. But the energy is in its early stages here. I can see that. So of course it needs investment of time, effort, and energy, eight of pentacles, in order for it to grow, in order for it to expand. Queen of Swords is here. This is Libra energy for me. You might be dealing with a Libra, but ultimately it is also an energy of transformation through getting the clarity. So that clarity that you are seeking here or you're seeking at the moment, that you're on pause, you're going to get that epiphany, okay? The Hanged Man also shows that enlightenment, okay, and through that enlightenment, can finally make some moves here. The Queen of Swords is an active, forward-moving energy. She seeks clarity, operates from that place of seeing the big picture, and she sets firm boundaries as well against you know those people that she might need to move away from. It links to the Justice energy for me as well in the Major Arcana, and that can be about waiting for a verdict. You might be waiting for you know, a verdict or a payout or an answer from a, a situation of dispute that you're trying to move on from, that's coming through as well. Ultimately, these moves can rebalance the karmic scales and are the changes that you need 
to really move ahead in a positive new direction. Eight of Pentacles, invest in this new opportunity and it feels like it can liberate you but there is something also to be moved away from in the process. The hanged man is sometimes uh, you know waiting on pause until there is a completion before the true liberation the true freedom can come in so let's get another one for that outcome Pisces we have got three of pentacles again yeah again for me this is the realization of what you've been trying to manifest things actually happening and yes it can be around um becoming part of a new group, a new team, a new organization, whether that is a new place of study, a new workplace, or, you know, a new sort of home complex as well. And the Emperor, beautiful. Aries energy in the Major Arcana and your third four of the reading. 888444, they are your angel numbers coming through. The Emperor is like the opposite of the Four of Pentacles. Here we see somebody who's holding on for dear life to everything they've got, worried about loss of money and making moves and the emperor is about laying a new foundation through making boss moves um it is about having a firm vision and following through seeing that big picture and kind of playing a very strategic game of chess here and that is going to help you move into a position of abundance and grow your empire and lay that new foundation for success so i'm just seeing a transformation and the shift here to get you back on track and also to kind of level up a little bit in your life. The emperor could be you moving into, um, you know, a, a new position that's a, a level up, like a leadership position in your work, going freelance, owning your own home. Like it's about those kind of bold moves that might have a little bit of a fear associated with them, but they are necessary risks, like calculated risks to get you into the position, the place that you really want to go for, you know, the next direction in your life. So Pisces, that's what I have for you and I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for those it's meant for. Do keep in mind being a general reading for the collective. It won't resonate for you every time. Do feel free to drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I do love uh, connecting with you over there. And um, please do hit subscribe on your way out to support the channel. Keep so many readings coming. Wishing you love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.